A chemist mixes specific amounts of linseed oil and pigment into a machine called an automatic Mueller. It rubs the ingredients together, dispersing the pigment particles throughout the oil. For each sample, the formulation is altered slightly in search of the perfect result. The research team compares the resulting colors and selects the best one. To produce a color on a large scale, workers start by pumping a specified amount of linseed oil into a mixer. Then they add the precise amount of pigment. Most colors are made with just one pigment. The precise mixing time and speed depends on the kind of pigment formulation being created. Next, the mixture is spooned into a mill. Three dispersion rollers rub the ingredients, separating pigment particles and coating them in oil. The recipe specifies how much pressure the rollers apply, how fast they turn, and how long they work the mixture. Milling can take hours or even days depending on the texture of the pigment. The quality control lab takes samples from each batch coming off the mill and subjects them to a series of tests. Technicians scrutinize paint from both sides of the mill to ensure the mixture is being processed evenly. First, a spread test. A heavy brass weight goes onto a blob of paint for a prescribed period of time. Then, inspectors evaluate the volume of color and measure the distance it spread. If it doesn't spread far enough, it needs more milling. Next, a dispersion test. The markings on this gauge indicate the size of the paint's particles in microns, millionths of a meter. If the particles are too big, the paint hasn't been milled enough. Finally, inspectors time how long it takes the paint to dry to the touch. Each color has a specified drying time, ranging from two days to two weeks. In the production line, the factory packages one color at a time in toothpaste-style tubes that will be finished off with twist caps. Once the labels go on, the tubes make their way to the filling machine. There, the tubes have their tops screwed on. nozzle squirts in the paint. Then clamps flatten the edges shut. A roller folds over the edge to strengthen the seal against squeeze pressure. Now, these oil paints are finally ready to meet the canvas.